Welcome everyone. We're talking about being intimate with God. We saw how God has designed us for intimacy, for a deeper relationship with Him. Uh, and we've also seen that uh, we can have, we can desire uh, a deeper walk with God, but if we don't make that choice, it is possible for us to uh, live, uh, you know, at, at a surface level uh, sort of a relationship with Him. Uh, and uh, miss out on knowing the heart of God. Today, we are talking about prioritizing God and uh, a wonderful person to learn this from is uh, King David. We see that uh, many of his Psalms pointed, pointed towards um, uh, the importance that God had in his life. In Psalm 27 verse 4, uh, he even says, one thing I have desired of the Lord, that will I seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in His temple. So, uh, though uh, King David could have uh, enjoyed and valued many things in his life, there is one thing that he's talking about. So. I chose us that David prioritized knowing God and being with God uh, much higher. You know, the, the value that he placed on this was greater than the value that he placed on anything else. And it also shows us that David was satisfied in God's presence. Sometimes uh, the things of the world, sometimes it shows us that David prioritized uh, the, the presence of God. Sometimes the things of the world can be so attractive uh, for us that we, we are um, pulled towards the worldly things. But you see the heart of David here. He is satisfied by God and he says one thing, one thing he desires of God and that is to be in his presence. God satisfied David. His presence satisfied David. Uh, and we also see here that you know, he, he talks about uh, a deep desire in him to continue to behold the beauty of the Lord. And that is nothing but um, gaining greater revelation of who God is and continuously discovering, you know, um, who God is. And these are the things that satisfied him. And that's, that's really something for us to learn from. Now, let's look at another uh, passage, uh, another Psalm that David wrote in Psalm 63 verses 1 and 2. Here David says, O God, you are my God, early will I seek you, my soul thirsts for you, my flesh longs for you in a dry and thirsty land where there is no water. So I have looked for you in the sanctuary to see your power and your glory. Once again, um, uh, David is talking about the way in which he has prioritized God. He sought God early. Uh, it also says that uh, with his soul, He's thirsting after God, even with his flesh. Okay, think about this, coming to a place where even our flesh is missing the presence of God. It's missing uh, being with God and finding that satisfaction. So he, he is desiring God in a very deep way and not just the presence of God, but also his power and glory. And so this kind of delight uh, is what we want in our relationship with God. Let's pray and ask the Lord to lead us uh, in intimacy with Him. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, even as we see pictures of uh, closeness with You, uh, Father, we pray that, Lord, we will experience, um, Lord, similar, similar intimacy and even deeper than that, O oh God. Awaken that hunger and awaken that thirst in our lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.